By the end of this video, you'll know how to use the text command, including how to explode text in Fusion 360. Hey there, it's Kevin Kennedy, and welcome to the Product Design Online YouTube channel, where I demo all things Fusion 360. If you're new here, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and comment below and let me know what you plan on using Fusion 360 for. The text command can be activated from the sketch dropdown list or from the right click sketch menu. Once activated, you'll be prompted to select an origin plane or another form of pre existing faces or geometry. For now, I'll simply select the XZ origin plane. Then you'll notice that you're prompted to specify a point for the text position. I'll simply click on the origin point. After specifying the text position, you'll be given the text dialog box in which you can define the characters and the text styling. I'll type out product design online and you'll notice it immediately shows up on the canvas window. Now it's important to note that if you want to change the text, you'll have to type it in the input field of the dialog box. You're not able to type directly in the canvas window. After inputting the characters, you'll have the option to style the text. First on the list is the height of the text. Now one important thing to note with the height is that you're actually defining the height of the text boundary box or this outer box that the text is located in. You'll notice if I type out 30 millimeters, the text increases in size along with the boundary box. However, take note that the text does not necessarily go all the way to the top of the boundary box. And part of this really depends on what font you're using. So just be aware of this if you're trying to get the text to be a specific height. The next option is the angle input, which gives you the ability to rotate the text. You may have noticed at the beginning of creating this text, I went ahead and grabbed the slider to rotate the text around. So you have the option of using the slider, or you can always type out a specific degree directly within the input field. Just below that, you have the option to make the text bold italicized, or underlined, or of course a combination of all three. The next option is the ability to change the font, but I'm going to spend most of the time on this option, so first I'll cover the last option that is just below it. You'll see that the last option gives you the ability to flip the text in the horizontal direction or in the vertical direction. Now this option can come in handy if you need to 3D print something, for example, a stamp in which you need the text to be reversed. Let's head back to the font selection. To change the font, simply click the drop-down selection and select a different font style. And you'll see that you can continue to change the font selection as needed. I'm going to scroll to the very top of the list, and you'll notice something different about these first few fonts. All of them have the SHX suffix. Now this suffix represents any fonts that are single line fonts, which means that the typeface uses only one line to define the shape of each letter. They have no defined thickness and only have a single line path, which can be handy for a laser, a milling tool, or any other tool that requires a single path to follow. So I'll just go ahead and select one of these fonts and you'll notice that each letter has only a single path. Again, the simplicity of these fonts is required in some scenarios and it really comes down to the type of machine you're using. Other than being helpful for laser and cam projects, you may also find these types of fonts to be helpful in the patch workspace because single line fonts can be extruded with the patch workspace extrude command. For the sake of the next example, I'm going to select one of the regular fonts. 
Now, typically you'll find yourself adding fonts because you want to extrude text or cut text away from existing geometry. After you change any style settings, you'll want to click the OK button in the text dialog box. If I select the extrude command from the create dropdown list, you'll notice that I can simply select the text and drag the arrow out, or I can type out a dimension. Now with some fonts, Fusion 360 won't allow you to select the text. What you have to do first is explode the text. To explode the text, simply right click on the text and select explode text. When you explode the text, it automatically creates sketch geometry based on your characters and the chosen font. Essentially, the explode option just outlines your characters with a combination of available sketch geometry. If I right click and select repeat extrude, you'll see that I'm able to extrude any type of exploded text. There are a few other important things to note here. First, you'll see that after you explode text, it automatically fixes the text so you don't accidentally move any of its points, lines, or other sketch geometry. So if you decide you do need to move the text, you'll have to click and drag your mouse cursor to highlight it all, and then you'll have to select the fix slash unfix constraint option. After unfixing the text, you'll notice the lines are now blue, which means they're not constrained anymore. So now I can drag my mouse cursor over all the text once again, which selects it, and this time it will let me move the text around as needed. The second important thing to note with exploding text is that once you explode the text, you're no longer able to go back and edit the text character or its styles which is something to keep in mind if you're using text in any of your projects. If I hit the undo button three times to go back to the text before I exploded it, you'll see that if I had not exploded the text, I can double click on the text to edit the text characters or styling. Or I can always right click on the text and select edit text. Now, one of the great things about Fusion 360 is that they are pulling the available fonts from your local machine. So if you find that you need to use a custom font, you can install the font on your machine and then it will be available to use in your Fusion 360. In summary, you'll find that the text command in Fusion 360 is not as robust as some programs. You do have the option to use custom fonts and you can easily extrude text or cut away text from 3D geometry. I just want to point out that there is currently no native way to actually wrap text around an object, which is hopefully something that the engineers will add in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all about this tutorial or Fusion 360 questions in general, then be sure to comment them below. Hit that thumbs up icon if you learned something in this video and click subscribe followed by that little bell icon to be notified of more Fusion 360 tutorials.